Hi everybody, this is Hirsch. Welcome to TalkHotRods.com. We're at our title sponsor shop, Hahn and Woodward in Harmony, Pennsylvania, Automotive Restoration. Boy, are we talking automotive restoration. Look what's behind us here. Wes is here, Paul is here. Guys, let's do a walk around. Tell us what this is. Absolutely, Hirsch. Sounds good, sounds good. Well, what we have here is a 1963 Ferrari 250 GT Lusso. Um, the Lusso was the last in the line of the 250 series Ferraris, uh, built between uh, 1963, January of 63, and August of 64. There were about 350 of these cars built, 351 depending on who you talk to, um, and, and as I said, they are the last of the 250 uh, series. They are considered by many to be the most beautiful Ferrari uh, ever built, and you can see why. Whether you agree with that uh, analogy, no matter what, it is a stunning vehicle. Um, this car has undergone a full uh, ground up every nut and bolt restoration here at the shop. Um, we've done a lot of work on the car and it's now in the home stretch to the, of the restoration. There are a few uh, minor things that we have to do to finish off this car. Uh, some chrome work that needs to be finished and a few other uh, trim pieces. But the, uh, the car is running and we're in the process of doing some test driving on it. Uh, a little more about the Ferrari 250 Lusso. The, the car, um, as I said, it was, uh, was only built with 350 examples of it, so we don't know how many of them still are driving, uh, but this is one of them. It uh, is a steel-bodied car, but the uh, doors and the, uh, the hood and the deck lid are all aluminum. Lightweight car, around 2,500 pounds, and it's powered by the Colombo V12 engine the venerable Colombo V12 engine from Ferrari. Uh, so it has plenty of get up and go, about 240, 245 horsepower. Uh, and we'll show you a little bit about the motor in just a few minutes. But I'm gonna tell, let Wes talk a little bit about the restoration. I know we had some work we had to do on the doors. Why don't you tell a little bit about that, Wes? Oh yeah, this, this was every nut and bolt restoration. Uh, no, no, hold, no bars held. Uh, it was completely disassembled, uh, alkaline dipped. Um, as far as the doors, uh, I, I, uh, the doors were so bad because they had aluminum and door skins over top of a steel frame. So, of course, you didn't have rust, but you had electrolysis. So all the, around the edges of the doors were all corroded. Uh, the doors were basically useless. So uh, I made uh, fabricated new door panels and put on it and uh, took care of that problem and also uh, use the material to isolate the, um, the aluminum from the steel, so hopefully that won't happen again. Um, other than that, uh, the car was pretty well, um, pretty, pretty well ran hard, uh, put away wet as you may, and uh, there were a lot of little, bit of little rust holes and so on that needed, needed repair it all around it. Um, which we addressed all those things, uh, patched, uh, re repaired everything with uh, new sheet metal, and uh, went from there. Uh, it's definitely a beautiful car with the metallic blue paint. Uh, I think that went on it very, very, very nicely, and it just seems to set this car off. I've seen a lot of these done in maroon, some done in, in a variety of colors. Silver is also popular, but this blue just does it for me. Uh, the Barani wheels on it also uh, really set the car off and make it look great. Um, it's a small car, 94-inch wheelbase, not a very big thing. Uh, but, you know, it's a lot of fun to drive. And like it said, Ferrari V12, you can't beat it, Hirsch. Well, Hirsch, as you can see, we've got the, the hood open on the car now and uh, revealing uh, the Colombo uh, V12 engine. Uh, car three uh, Weber downdraft carburetors on there. And you may note those interesting air cleaners that we've got. This is, we are still in test mode with the car. And so uh, we, rather than uh, putting on the final dressings, you know, while we're out testing, making it easier for us to get in and make adjustments, we've, uh, we've improvised a few uh, uh, special air cleaners for, the, for this. We'll be swapping those out along with uh, the oil filters and everything before the car's final delivery. Um, it is a fairly uh, interesting motor. Um, fairly long, lengthy thing, um, and, but yet compact. And, uh, you know, 
It runs very smoothly. We'll fire it up here in a few minutes. It uh, features two uh, distributors, one for each bank of cylinders and uh, uh, two ignition coils. So it's uh, quite a, uh, a performance-derived uh, beast. Lovely uh, period-correct battery. Uh, little of uh, These little details, including uh, you see those yellow uh, fuel lines and things like that. Those are all specific to this type of engine and, and, uh, and to the Ferrari. So it's not like you can go down to the Napa store and just pick that stuff up. Um, same with, uh, you know, with all the tuning that has to go into these. You do spend a lot of time uh, trying to get the carburetors all synchronized. And we are in the middle of doing that now. And so far, so good. Um, we're very pleased at this point with how the, uh, the car is running as we're getting it dialed in. Hey folks, can you believe it? I'm sitting in a 1965 Ferrari Lusso, 63, a 1963 Ferrari Lusso. Lusso, I've learned, is luxury. Luxury if, it if is. If you could smell the leather, if you were seeing it through my eyes, you would understand how exciting this is. What a chance of a lifetime. Uh, man. Uh, now, Paul, tell me about the... What had to be done in the restoration of the interior? It smells brand new. Well, pretty much everything in there is brand new, Hirsch. Uh, certainly new leather throughout. Um, the seats and everything, they're, they're just to die for. They are really just gorgeous, uh, gorgeous seats, very unique to Ferrari. Pretty much everything has been redone, the dash and everything, all the knobs. Um, one of the interesting things is they don't really label those knobs for you to let you know what goes where so there <laughs> we had to do a little bit of research and do some digging to figure out what knob was actually supposed to co you know handle what uh function um and this is kind of true on a lot of these cars um you know the prancing horse it doesn't get any better than that um it's a beautiful you know four-speed car uh just a just a, a gorgeous thing inside and like you say the luxury the craftsmanship. This is. Oh, these uh, are beautiful. Yeah, it's Italian at its best. Just like their shoes and their art and their architecture yes. and, and their fashion. Man. Well, this was designed. This car was designed by Pininfarina. So mm -hmm. you know you got you got a, a major name right there. Yeah. And then after that, uh, it was built by Scaglietti. So you know these are the best of the best. Uh, hand built most of these cars. So uh, you know. There is not a one-size-fits-all. There are little nuances to each car, but uh, they're just beautiful. Now, before we go, i got to check out the oleo, the, the, the oleo, the oleo, the aqua, and the benzina. Exactly. We need the benzina. Oh, Absolutely. my, this is so cool. Not just, of course, fuel gauge, water temperature, oil temperature, mm -hmm. oil pressure. Most beautiful tack I've ever seen in my life. Just gorgeous. 300 mile an hour. 300 kilometer per hour. Yeah, this car could do 150 miles an hour. In fact, it was among the fastest cars of its day and, on the street. And the gauges are marked Veglia. That must be the Italian VDO. That is exactly it. And underneath it says Lucci. That must be high beam, maybe, with that I little... Mean, do you believe... Well, we're we're going sure. to we're we're have to look. Research I'm, I'm my Italian is rusty because right. I'm not Italian. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you so much for being a part of uh, Talk Hot Rods, the biggest part of Absolutely. Talk Hot Rods. This is the, the highlight of my life so and far. Next time around, we will definitely take this out on the road. We'll do a little road test and we'll be able to visualize that, take this car down the street and see what it really, what it really feels like to ride in it. We'll go pro it. We'll go pro it. Hey, thank Absolutely. you. Paul Vorbach, Wes Woodward. Hahn and Woodward Automotive Restorations in the Harmony, Pennsylvania. They are our title sponsor for our builder series on TalkHotRods.com. This is Hirsch. Thanks. Be careful on the hot rod.